Here's a quick plant haul of what I just got today. We went to the nursery and I actually bought 20 arborvitaes, emerald green arborvitaes. I bought five little lime hydrangeas and two limelight prime hydrangeas that we left there because we couldn't fit them in a car. But besides that, I also bought two of these. I would have bought more, but they only had two. I bought both of them. This is called the Let's Dance Rhythmic Blue. Big Leaf Hydrangea by Proven Winners. I'll show you the tag. So these don't get that big. If you can see, the sun is terrible. Only three to four feet tall and wide. But the flowers are gorgeous. I hope, I mean, I think they'll stay blue because we have supposedly have acidic soil here. Um, but look at that bloom already. Now these are probably in a greenhouse, so they're blooming really early, but look at how pretty. This is a really dark blue, almost purple. Um, besides that, I did buy, oh, I forgot, I did buy three Bobo hydrangeas. I think I'm going to put these out by the shed. I'm not sure. Bobo, these are panicles, so these can have full sun. These ones stay really small. So let's see. Full sun, 2.5 to 3 feet tall and 3 to 4 feet wide. But they have really, they have lots. Look how pretty that's going to be. I love them. So I've got three of those. One, two and three. Also the other day my daughter said, why did you buy the white phlox? I like the pink ones. So I saw three of these. So I got these, the Luminary Opalescence Garden Phlox, Full Sun. It is really pretty. If I can get the tag out, I can show you. I can't get the tag out, let me flip it over. Um, let's see what it says. It's a garden phlox, 30 to 32 inches tall. It's a perennial. In zones three to eight. Those should be really pretty. Look how pretty they are in the picture. I got three of those. Um, besides that, I did find this also. This is the Pugsta Blue Dwarf Butterfly Bush. Let's see what it says about that. It's, uh, let's see, it's full sun. It is. How come it doesn't say, oh, zones five to nine, two feet tall and wide. So it's like a dwarf one. But I don't see any blooms on it yet. Looks like there might've been some blooms and they might've faded away right there. Focus, camera, focus. Here we go. And then I did find the um, three um, double knockout roses here. I'll come over here, Let's show you these. I wanted the double knockout pinks. The only thing, so I got these pink double knockouts. The only thing is they're kind of a little darker pink than I wanted. I wanted a really soft pink, but I couldn't find any anywhere. So these um, need full sun zone five to 11, three to four feet high and three to four feet wide. I think some of them had blooms on them. Let me see if I want to find one with the bloom. Um, let's see. This one kind of has starting blue. Mm -hmm. See the bloom? Let's see. Right there, there's one. There's one there. There's kind of a spent one or a dried up one right there. They do have a nice fragrance so far. Oh, and the other thing I was really excited about, I wanted to get one of these and I found one. Let me show you. A Winecraft Black Smoke Bush. Isn't that cool? Let's see, it's um, zones four to eight, four feet, four to six feet tall. Look at that. I just think that's gonna bring some really nice color to the, to the garden. I have, everything I have is green. So besides that, here are some annuals I got for my pots. I think I'm gonna do my two um, huge planters like that with this. I got Super Tonya Vista Bubblegum Petunias. I got Diamond Frost Euphorbia. I love these. This Super Bina Sparkling Rose Verbena. Isn't that pretty? Let me show you the tag. Sparkling Rose Verbena. I think they're just so pretty. What's it say about them? They don't get very tall. 
It's obviously an annual. They say mounding and trailing, but it seems pretty upright to me, so I'm hoping it fills in my pot. Also with the, that same pot, I did this. Oh, isn't this pretty? This Color Blaze Wicked Witch Coleus. Look at that. I love that. And in, for my thriller, I got this. Isn't this pretty? I love it. This is the Angel Feist Wedgwood Blue Summer Snapdragon. I just thought that was so pretty. So that's gonna be the two um, big pots, I think, these tall pots, and I haven't decided where I'm gonna put them. I'd like to put them on either, either side of this garage, but I don't know. And my other pot, I'm gonna do this. This is what I got in the other pot, let me show you. I got, I love this too. This Super Bina, excuse me, Super Tunia Vista Silverberry Petunia. Oh my gosh, that's a mouthful. It's Super Tunia Vista Silverberry Petunia. But look at the color. Isn't that pretty? I just love it. It's like a very, very pale pink with almost like a deep purple throat with some veining. So I got that, and that's gonna be my spiller, obviously. And then I got this. Proven Winner Accent Sweet Caroline Sweetheart Jet Black Sweet Potato Vein Fine, excuse me. So I thought that was kind of cool too. The contrast between the dark leaves of this and the soft. And this kind of has like a purple undertone to it, so I thought it would look nice with this. And I was really stuck on these, so I got more. I have two of these. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Angel Feist per Perfectly Pink. Angelonia. Pretty, right? And then, oh, and I found these. I was so happy to find these. This one doesn't have flowers on it, so I'll show you the other one. But this is the Media Shower Verbena, which I think will be cool. Nice and tall. But this one has some plump blooms on it. See? There's one there and one there. And I did sneak in my cart two of these because I couldn't resist. These are the Lemon Coral Sedums. I have two of those. And... While I was there, I did sneak in one more perennial, which I wasn't supposed to get, but I had to get it. This isn't proven as one is. I don't know who makes this, but it's Gara, Gara and it's Bantam Pink. But look at the flower. See it? I met a woman there, and she said she just loves this plant because it just blooms and blooms its little heart out all summer long. It says... Let's see the thing. It says, full sun grows 12 to 16 inches... Um, for as well-drained sorrel, it's hardy from zone 5 to 10. So, wow, that's cool. So, I'm excited about that plant. And, I, and also, I bought it because I like the foliage. Everything I have is green, pretty much. And look at this foliage. It's so pretty. I don't know if these are the flower spikes. I'm assuming they are. Hopefully, it will flower soon. But that's... These are all... I think I showed you all my perennials before. I have so many the plant so I've got a, some planting to do when they finally get this area done um, I didn't show you this my husband got me this it is a weeping pussy willow plant it's kind of cool it had all these little pussy willows on it but they faded and then the leaves came out so anyways that's my plant haul thanks for watching